up until last week, we were about to say that WWE had been quick to release talent from the roster due to budget cuts in the past, but in 2023, it had been a much different story. With WWE practically having stopped doing roster cuts, as they've been instead focusing on building the roster up. That, however, took a very unprecedented twist after the takeover of WWE by Endeavor to form TKO Holdings. That takeover came with a bunch of roster cuts that will definitely have caused some changes to the WWE 2K24 roster. Join us now as WrestleGamia looks at 21 superstars who won't be in WWE 2K24. Be sure to subscribe so you're the first to know when we upload a video. Number 1 and 2, The Bella Twins Back in March of 2023, it was announced that the Bella Twins would not be renewing their contracts and had left WWE. Prior to this, both Bellas had stated frustrations with the company after being advertised to show up for Raw's 30th anniversary episode and then being pulled from the show. Since then, the Bellas have moved on from wrestling and unless the Legends deal was signed for 2K24, it's very unlikely that they'll appear in the upcoming 2K24 video game. Number 3, Edge now Edge is an interesting one because of as of this video, he has yet to sign a contract extension with WWE. Edge has confirmed that WWE has sent him a contract extension, but reports have stated that they are far apart on money right now. The speculation is that Edge is on his way to AEW after the end of September with his contract coming to an end. This isn't to say Edge will 100% leave WWE, a deal could still be agreed. However, with an agreement taking so long, there is a chance that Edge can miss the cutoff for 2K24's roster. It has happened before with Ronda Rousey missing 2K22's cut, but it managed to sneak in through DLC. If Edge was to go to AEW, however, he'd be cut from the game and it would also be the first time ever that Edge has not been in the main series WWE game. Only time will tell. Number 4, Ronda Rousey Speaking of Ronda Rousey, Ronda recently wrestled her last match against Shayna Baszler at the WWE SummerSlam event a few months ago. After that match, it was reported that Ronda's contract was finished with WWE and she had no interest in re-signing with the company. It appears that Ronda's days as a pro wrestler are over. Due to this, it's likely that Ronda will be removed from the 2K24 roster. Number 5, Stephanie McMahon Stephanie McMahon has been a playable superstar in 2K for over a few years now, even though she hasn't had a match in many years or even been on TV much during the 2020s. It's safe to say that after Stephanie left the WWE early in 2023 after her father Vince McMahon made his return to WWE, that she will not be featured in the upcoming game. Number 6, Goldberg It was reported in March of 2023 that Goldberg was now a free agent after his WWE contract was not renewed. Since then, Goldberg hasn't done much in the wrestling world, though there was speculation he may show up on AEW TV one day. Like most legends on this list, his inclusion in 2K24 will depend on whether he has a Legends deal with WWE. It's happened before in the 2K series, but we'll have to see. For now, it seems likely that he won't be included in the game. Number 7, Lacey Evans before the mass releases in September 2023, it was reported that in August of 23, Lacey Evans had decided to let her contract expire with WWE and decided not to renew with the company. This will likely mean that she'll be cut from WWE 2K24. Number 8, Ezekiel Elias. Shocking news, Elias and Ezekiel are the same person, but both characters managed to appear in the 2K23 video game. It was likely that the Ezekiel character wouldn't be making the cut in 2K24, but unfortunately after the September 2023 roster cuts, Elias will not be featured in the game after being released. It's also been reported prior to his release that he was no longer working with a contract in WWE and had not been on TV in a while, making it likely he won't be in the game. Number 9, Commander Aziz. Commander Aziz managed to make the cut in 2K22 as DLC content. Although he had dropped the gimmick and moved back to his old Dabakato gimmick in NXT, he still appeared in 2K23 as Commander Aziz. Had it not been for his release, it was likely that he would have been repacked in WWE 2K24 as Dabakato. Number 10, Aaliyah. Aaliyah made her debut in the WWE 2K series with 2K23, but it won't be surprising if that will be her only WWE 2K game appearance as 2K24 seems very unlikely. Along with being part of the September 2023 roster cuts, she'd not been on TV for over a year, which makes it even more unlikely that she would make the cut for 2K24's roster. Number 11, Rick Boogs. Rick Boogs, like Commander Aziz, was part of the 2K22 DLC offering and also made an appearance in 2K23. With him being released recently and not being on WWE TV in quite a while, a 2K24 appearance would be highly unlikely. Number 12, Shanky. 
Shanky made his first appearance in 2K23 and had an entire 14 month stretch of not having a single match in WWE. He recently had a match at September's WWE Superstar Spectacle in India. It's likely that even if he had not been released, he wouldn't have made the cut for the 2K24 roster. Number 13 and 14, Mason Mansoor. Mason Mansoor made their debuts in 2K22 with completely different gimmicks compared to their Maximum Male Models run. Mace was included in his Retribution gimmick and Mansoor was in his, well, Mansoor gimmick. That changed in 2K23 as they both were included as the Maximum Male Models. With both of them being released, an inclusion in 2K24 seems doubtful. Number 15, Riddick slash Madcap Moss. Riddick Moss made an appearance in 2K23 with his Mad Cat Moss gimmick. That quickly became outdated as he went back to his original name of Riddick Moss. Like many in the list, it would have been unlikely that he makes a cut as he has rarely appeared on TV in 2023. With Moss being mostly featured on main events, his release has made it a guarantee he won't be in WWE 2K24. Number 16, Top Dollar. Top Dollar with the rest of Hit Row were featured in the very first 2K23 DLC pack. However, that might be Top Dollar's only 2K appearance due to him being released with the September cuts. Number 17, Mustafa Ali. Mustafa Ali being released was a big shock as he'd been scheduled to appear at the NXT No Mercy event and has been active throughout the main roster in NXT. However, due to his release being so many months away from 2K24 and a possible move to AEW, it does feel like him being on the roster is pretty unlikely. Number 18, Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke has been in WWE games for quite a few years now and in 2K23 was on quite a few WWE shows including Raw, NXT and Main Event. It's very likely that she would have made the cut for 2K24 but her release has made it much more unlikely now. Number 19, Shelton Benjamin. Shelton Benjamin was unfortunately part of the recent releases and is the second time he had been released in WWE. In his first run, he last appeared in SmackDown vs Raw 2011 and made his return to WWE games in 2K19. Number 20, Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler has been in WWE games for a crazy long time now. Dolph made his first appearance in 2009 with SmackDown vs Raw 2010 and has been in every game since then. With his recent release, it's going to break a long run of WWE game appearances for Dolph Ziggler. And to be honest, it's going to feel quite strange not having him in 2K after being in them for so long. And number 21, Matt Riddle. After a long list of cuts happened in WWE, it was announced that there was going to be another roster cut, and that person being Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle has been a pretty massive part of WWE shows now for many years, having runs with RK Bro, winning a feud with current world champion Seth Rollins, main eventing pay-per-views and having tag and US title runs. So he's unlike many on the list who not been seen on TV for a while or was having limited appearances. Riddle was one of the biggest wrestlers on the shows he appeared on, however due to controversies with Riddle and him now being released from WWE, he won't be in 2K24. But there you have it folks, 21 WWE superstars who won't be in 2K24. Who are you most disappointed about not being in the roster? Let us know in the comments down below, I'll see you next time with some more wrestling video game content.